I look uh, rough as nuts today. My skin is all flaky. That's winter for you. Anyway, we're doing a full English breakfast challenge today. Yes, I can hear the collective sighs. I've done plenty of those before, but they all need to be conquered. So we're going to hit the road for Chesterfield, which I think is uh, technically the Midlands, maybe South Yorkshire. <laughs> Who knows? Who's gonna? All right, here we are. El Cafe Verde. I don't speak fluent Italian, but I think that means the Green Cafe. Now I told them I was coming, but I didn't tell them who I was. That said, the owner of this place did message me, must be months ago now, asking if I'd come by and do the food challenge. So I'm not sure if they're gonna recognize me. We'll see. Managed it yet. I saw one guy got pretty close, he had like a few bits of toast left. He did, I think. Some hash two, browns. two slices of toast and a hash brown left. It, was, it looked like it was about two mouthfuls, I can't believe you couldn't do it. Yeah. <laughs> well, if he's a famous YouTuber, Sam will know him, who spends his life on it. I don't know, he might have better things to do than watch me. <laughs> right, so it's all of this, all of this, including the tea. I try to trade out for a coffee, but there's no dice. Them's not the rules. Yeah, right. Are we all right, I, I was going to introduce where we are, but like, you, can cook, 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 you can cook something quick. Do you want to take over? You can come sit here. You start Right, but a place today called Cafe El Cafe Verde, which, I, if I'm right, is that Italian for the green cafe? Spanish. Spanish? Yeah, so close. The devil's breakfast challenge. You're not Satanists, are you? You sacrifice me if I finish this. 30 minutes to finish if you finish. It's on the house, yes, right? Yes, it is. Other than that, it's just no substitutes, no leaving the table within 30 minutes, and you have 30 minutes to eat all your breakfast. And it's, pretty, it's six of everything, pretty it much. Is, Apart from the beans, yeah. obviously, there's more than six beans. Yes, yeah, they but, have um... six servings on average. Right, so without further ado, this is Bimby's food, and this is the uh, 666 <laughs> breakfast challenge. I think I, I did a one called that before, but anyway. <laughs> What's going on? Right, um, <laughs> right, right, you're ready. And your time starts. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Oh, it's hot. Oh. Oh, it's hotter than the sun. It's true. What's up, everyone? Welcome back. I went a little bit Alan Partridge there. It's not quite as hot as the sun. That could be a smidge hyperbolic. But it was disarmingly hot. I feel like cool. <laughs> yeah, new year, same old me. You gotta strike while the iron's hot, but not too hot. Still, the uh, the water out of this big mug here is helping, despite what that face may suggest. <laughs> and uh, today we're at a place called El Cafe Verde, which for some reason I thought was Italian. It's not, it's Spanish. And uh, I think uh, originally I said the, the, the literal translation of this was the Green Cafe. I think I'm wrong there. I think it's Green Coffee which, um, I mean, it's a bit of a weird name for a cafe, but nothing wrong with calling your cafe that. That's coming straight from Google Translate, though, so if there are any Spanish experts out there, let me know in the comments what this place is actually called. Anyway, enough about uh, linguistics. I do know the name of the, the actual challenge. It's called the 666 Devil's Breakfast Challenge. Ooh, spooky. And uh, it tastes good. You get six of everything and 30 minutes in which to finish everything. If you do so, it's on the house. Uh, I think there have been seven unsuccessful attempts so far. Normally I'd leave the black pudding to the end, <coughs> but everything else is really hot. <laughs> yeah, all right, Chief. We get it. The, the temperature's bothering you. You said that a few times now. Just suck it up. Fortunately, we're getting to the items now which don't really retain heat that well. You know, the hash browns, the eggs, the bacon, which, by the way, was really good. Perfectly crisp, often on breakfast challenges. The bacon's the thing they mess up more than anything else, but this was spot on. I'm just gonna eat the eggs with my hands. I know it's gross, but... <laughs> we got fans on FaceTime here. What's his name? George. George, how's it going, man? I, pr I think you should probably comb that fringe a little bit. It's looking a bit wild. <laughs> I'm only messing, I'm only messing. <laughs> 
Yeah, so one of the fellow diners in the restaurant recognized me because apparently her son watches my videos all the time. So, George, if you're watching, sorry about the fringe gag. <laughs> and she comes back in a second to introduce me to her mum, which is nice. Hi, um, is that, is that your mum? That's my mum. How's it going? You all right? Mum, look, what is he eating? She looks a little, she looks a little confused, not that I can blame her. <laughs> come on, come on I think it's a generational thing, you know, I get the same look of dismay whenever I see my mum watch one of my videos. <laughs> it's just <laughs> Yeah, they're easily impressed here. I have to say the staff were really nice though. Always cool when they get behind you, you know, get get involved with the video and stuff. All right, bacon sandwich. Classic bacon sarnie. I have to, I, I'm, I'm a little bit um, surprised that I've mixed things together far more than usual. Maybe I'm turning over a new leaf. Who knows, man, the puree tomatoes. What is it with those on breakfast? Fresh tomatoes, okay, fried tomatoes, puree, never. <laughs> You enjoying the show? <laughs> <laughs> this bloke to my right, he was he was fascinated. I've never seen somebody so riveted for like for the duration of the whole thing. Most people don't really I mean they think it's gonna be fun to watch up close and personal, but a lot of people don't really enjoy watching <laughs> from you know the splash zone, you know, two feet away. But he seemed to enjoy it. He's getting on board. <laughs> oh, it's going everywhere. Yeah, runny eggs will do that to you. We're getting there though, slow but sure, making progress. The only sticking point really is going to be the mushrooms and this rather large mug of tea. Not that, that's not tea, that's just uh, a cup that says the boss, which contains H2O, but the other thing, to screen left, that's tea. Nothing worse than egg yolk in the beard. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. There's just something about unfertilized chicken embryos getting stuck in your beard, which feels worse than almost anything else. What do you say? 10 minutes, 11 minutes, 12 minutes? Got 20 minutes. I've got 20 minutes left. Yeah. Right. Plenty of time. Plenty of time. Yeah, we're making pretty good progress now. Just the sloppy stuff to go. I almost forgot the tea. Yeah, fortunately, they, they don't include a booby trapped Biscoff biscuit with this one. If you saw that video, you know what I'm talking about. Although, it, it does take me quite a long time to finish the tea. <laughs> oh, the mushrooms. They're mushroomy mushrooms, you know. Like these are, these are, they're intense. I'm waiting for the tea to cool down. Yeah, this is the point I think uh, which I realized why they call it the Devil's Breakfast Challenge. Look at the steam coming off that tea bag. I don't think I've ever encountered a cup of tea or any liquid for that matter that was this hot. Like 13, 14 minutes after it was originally made. Still, we're, we're getting there. We're getting, I'm gonna yeah finish off these scraps of mushrooms, do the beans, then we're, we're almost there. I'll do the beans, neck the tea. We should be good. <laughs> Yeah, solid plan. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you in the next one. Safe to say you've nailed it. We've got a few stray beans. <laughs> I've been going 13 minutes. Well, I've got 14 minutes, so I've been going 16 minutes. Oh, what kind of bean puts two tea bags in a cup of tea? Large <laughs> <laughs> that be the man. Is that Carol? Am I good? You're the referee. Yes. All right, there we go. You got desserts here? Puddings or whatever? Only if you have any. Only if you have any. No, maybe nothing warm. You got anything cold? Maybe not that cold. Anywhere in the middle. <laughs> Chocolate fudge cake. I've kind of destroyed a bit of it already. Couldn't wait. That's the stuff. Because I used to watch Man vs. Food, do you remember that? Boo! Yeah. Boo! Oh, mate, it was pretty good. <laughs>